there aren't that many places in the country that have training um, in benign hematology that's as comprehensive as Johns Hopkins. Um, and so, you know, here on the interview day, I was really blown away by the opportunities that were available to do rotations in benign hematology and really work with leaders in the field. Um, and so it was really a, a no-brainer. I felt very supported here in terms of uh, teaching in, the, in benign hematology and then different experiences working with patients from all different subspecialties that experience benign hematologic issues. Um, I've also been really uh, impressed uh, with the different faculty members I've worked with and the, my colleagues and of course the residents here as well. Everyone's really just been amazing. What I found interesting here at Johns Hopkins is our bone marrow transplant program. Um, here, most of the bone marrow transplants that are completed that are allogeneic transplants, so transplants that come from a different person, uh, are actually performed in the outpatient setting, which is just a really fascinating model. And, you know, the patients love it and our outcomes are really excellent. Um, so I'm, I'm happy I've had exposure to that program. I actually came here uh, for the purpose of becoming a sickle cell provider. Uh, and here we have an excellent center that's one run by wonderful clinicians. Um, the head of the sickle cell program, Dr. Sophie Lanskron, is uh, my primary mentor here. Uh, and she's just been excellent. I think when you think of people with big names, you often think that they're inaccessible or, or cold or whatnot. But Dr. Lanskron has really been warm. She looks out for my interests. She's super communicative. I, I, again, I, I couldn't have asked for someone better to work with. So why do I want to do all of this? Um, it's funny, I, I entered medical school knowing I was going to be a pathologist and then switched over to he wanting to be a hematologist in the summer of my fourth year. I went into a pediatric hematology ward to do my sub-I and was uh, privilege to take care of um, some of the sickest kids in Chicago. Um, some of these included sickle cell patients. Um, I can remember one patient in particular. Um, he was eight years old in for a pain crisis and was just very sick from his pain crisis, vomiting, and all we could really give was narcotics. Uh, and I just thought to myself, is this really the best we can do? Um, and, and from then, I just felt this calling to take care of these patients and be someone who's a leader in the field of sickle cell disease. It's training I'm going to take with me for the rest of my career.